Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And I was walking back to the garden one day and uh, this back zone of irrigation had been running and I happened to notice a puddle and a little trail of water going down through here. So that automatically told me I've got an issue right here uh, with this irrigation head. So I need to fix it. We're getting ready to start aerating and seeding. I'll be doing my yard about middle of September and uh, I want my irrigation repaired and fixed and everything working right. Of course, most folks that watch the channel, you probably already know how to do this, but for the new guys or gals that uh, don't know how, you can save a, a ton of money. Uh, not throwing irrigation companies under the bus, but uh, that type of work they do is very, very demanding. It's very hard labor, and uh, they're kind of expensive. So uh, the DIY guy or gal, uh, you can fix this pretty easily. I mean, I fix mine myself. I don't call the irrigation company, and uh, it's pretty simple. Now, the only thing I am certain of is the water was kind of oozing out right around here. So chances are it's broken off right below the irrigation head. And when I pull it, it's kind of loose. Now, I don't want to go digging too much because I don't want to create more damage. Look at there. It just kind of snapped off. There's my problem right here. I think that ought to be enough to work with. This is called Funny Pipe. And it actually runs back to the one inch uh, line that this zone is on and it connects to another elbow there. Now I don't think I can get that out so I'm gonna come right back here and cut this off. Like so. You can see there's the other piece of the elbow that come out. You can kind of see how that originally was. It just broke off. Chances are either one of the kids stepped on it and it kind of broke it or I could actually hit it with a maybe the front or the back tire of my mower. I'm not sure how that happened, but either one of those are possible. So I need to remove this and put a new elbow in. So this right here is an elbow that's used in uh, irrigation. It's three quarter uh, male pipe by half inch uh, male barb and you can pick those up at Lowe's or Home Depot, anywhere like that, irrigation supply store or wherever. We'll double check, make sure there's no debris in here and there's not. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Now these right here, you do not have to put the smack down on it. I get it hand tight and it's good to go. You're going to push this inside the half inch funny pipe and you may have to kind of wiggle it a little bit to get it to go in. Stand it straight up like so and then backfill it. Now, when I dig these out, I always dig under the funny pipe a little bit. So you want to make sure you get some dirt back under that funny pipe. Pack it down good. That way it does, the head doesn't settle and go down in the ground any.
Now that head is a touch high. Typically you would want that setting flush with the ground right around here. But I've got a lawn renovation coming up uh, not too far from now. And when I do that renovation, I will actually um, change these out to six inch heads. All right, so let me show you what I did right here. That quick, I got turned around on my orientation, okay? The elbow should have been facing the other way. Look at my arrow. This is where the actual water comes out, and you see the rotations going from here back to here, so it's all spraying this way. So basically, I'm going to take it and give it a little bit of a twist like so. Line that up. And now I'm back in business. Now again, you don't want to hammer that, tighten it, because you can break that elbow. It doesn't have to be, but so tight. But now I've done all my adjustments, so surely all I've got to do is basically turn it on and it's good to go. That looks good. Looks like we're back in business now. So, hey, there you go. That was just a quick irrigation head fix. Didn't have to go buy anything. I actually had an elbow. If I would have had to go buy the elbow, I think those things cost maybe 75 cents, a dollar fifty, two dollars. Some they're not expensive at all, and uh, it's an easy, simple fix you can do yourself. So if you're new to the channel, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Pete. We have a, a lawn care company here in North Carolina where we do work on uh, treating turf and, and mowing and that kind of thing. And then I also have a YouTube channel, which you're watching right now. So as a way of saying thank you to the folks that are subscribed to the channel, we're going to have a huge Christmas gift. It's actually going to be enough lawn care equipment to where you could actually start a lawn care business if you wanted to. So be looking for that around Christmas time. Now the way you get entered into it is you have to be subscribed to this channel and you need to be on my email list. Okay, now my email list, I don't use it for a bunch of hocus pocus stuff where you, I blast you with emails every other day. You're lucky if you get seven or eight or nine from me a year. But with that said, I do a little bit of communication with that. And one being is I'll have to use that to contact you to let you know if you won this Christmas gift. Say so, hey, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. I hope you have a great day. Check you later.